According to the CDC, more than one in four adults over 65 fall each year. And of those, fewer than half actually wind up telling their doctor. Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health joins us with some fall prevention ideas. Good morning, Dr. Wallace. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Why is this such an important topic? Well, it's very important for seniors because it's so common um, and it's actually preventable. So, so many seniors every year have falls and about one out of five of those falls results in a severe disability or injury. Now, you know, you have some 66 year olds who would be at risk of falling and you have some 88 year olds who really aren't at that much risk of a serious fall because there are underlying conditions. What, what are some of the things people should be thinking about as, as people age? about their own health conditions. Yeah, it has a lot to do with those chronic health conditions that you have. So in particular, diabetics can have difficulty feeling their feet. It's a condition called neuropathy, and so that can make them stumble and fall. We have a lot of seniors who use assistive devices like walkers or canes, and so those people are at higher risk as well. And then the one I really think a lot about is uh, patients who are on medications that may make them sleepy or a little bit groggy, and that can make them unsteady on their feet. You know, one of the things we pointed out in the lead-in here is, and I know it's a point you wanted to get to, is that you should actually talk about this with your doctor. Yeah, definitely. You know, in particular, your doctor can do a fall prevention assessment and um, that includes a lot of questions about your home and how it's set up, uh, what sort of support you have. And then again, going back to those medications, they can do a medication review and identify if maybe there's any drugs that you're on that might be putting you at a higher risk for fall. And, and a fall, I mean, you know, you see it in elderly people uh, quite commonly that they're doing all right, uh, especially as they really get up in age. And then a fall starts kind of a cascade of health issues, doesn't it? Yeah, that's really the problem that we see. So once someone falls, they can definitely have a severe injury from that fall, but then they tend to be scared, therefore, and don't actually want to get up and move around, and that can lead to a lot of problems of deconditioning and other medical issues as well. So exercise, you know, I know every doctor you've ever talked to says exercise is important, but this is one of those areas where it really makes a difference? Yeah, very much so. And we do say it for everything, but in this, it, it really counts. The, the exercise can actually help you build strength, especially in your lower extremities. It actually helps you with balance and flexibility. So if you do have a little bit of a stumble, you can usually catch yourself before falling. And, and, and then you get sort of a fear of falling thing that, that is a complicating factor to this. Yeah, once, once someone has had a fall, then they typically... Um, have concerns that, that they're going to fall again and um and so that's what we're real concerned about and we want to uh leave those words so they can continue to exercise and live their daily lives gotcha and i know that you um um want to get in you've got a, a how to prevent falls virtual event um at people's health people can sign up on your website coming up wednesday september 30th yeah uh, yeah, so we do. Uh, so two Wednesdays from now, it's actually a fall prevention seminar online, and they can get there at peopleshealth.com wellness. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we appreciate it. Dr. Brent Wallace from People's Health, thank you so much.